Hey everybody, I know there's a lot of information on the instructions for this week's discussion, so I just wanted to demonstrate the steps you need to take in order to answer the discussion question. So here's the website that's in the discussion instructions link. And then uh, the first link they tell you to click is right here at the top, the one that says for over 800 occupations. So this isn't every occupation in the United States, but it's um, probably all the most common ones. Uh, and so for this example, I'll do this as if I was a nursing student, but you could find your own occupation uh, depending on what you're studying at Herzing. So I'm, I'm pressing Control F on my keyboard. Let me show you what it showed up on Google Chrome. Control F brings up this search bar. I'm going to type nurse. That way I, ca I catch nurse, the word nurse, N-U-R-S-E, and I catch nursing, N-U-R-S-I-N-G. But that brings me to nursing instructors, as you can see. I'm going to click the down arrow. There's registered nurses. That's the one I'm interested in. So I'm going to click that. Um, and then obviously it depends on what you're studying at Herzing University. You'd want to click something else. But <clears throat> okay, so I've got uh, I've got what step one is looking for. They wanted me to pull up uh, the nursing uh, the nursing occupation and then to uh, to write down the information that's presented. They said the percentiles. So they mean these percentiles here. You could take both the hourly wage and annual wage and write those down. Okay. It doesn't, doesn't have to be both, though. But just make sure when you copy and paste that, like I, I'd actually want to copy the header because that doesn't take the data with uh, shows us which percentile is which. Um, this needs to be deleted. We want to copy and paste it in Word. Yeah, you want to make sure you say, hey, the 10th percentile is $28.58. That means 10% of people make less than $28.58 an hour as nurses. Less than 10% of nurses make $59,450 a year. Okay, That's what the percentiles tell us. And then you also want to take this information. You want the mean and the median. Uh, the mean hourly wage is here. Let's see. Oh, the median's down here. It's the 50th percentile. Those two numbers are important when when we measure uh, a typical value in a data set because they can help give us an idea of you know where the average is. But the, the important reason for having both the mean and the median, even though they both try to do the same job, is the median is resistant to outliers. If your data has skew, if it has a lot of outliers, then the mean is going to be pulled towards those outliers. The median does a better job of telling us a typical uh, a typical value in a data set when there's actually outliers present. So, Okay, um, so that's step one. Step two, they want us to click this uh, link at the top, geographic profile for registered nurses. And then we're, you're supposed to just give us an idea of how much uh, pay changes from state to state. This first map isn't pay, it's where um, where nurses are employed. This isn't pay either. And then this map gives us a quick summary of, of pay. And you can just hover over and the map will tell you what the what the mean wage is in each state. So in South Dakota, it's 60,540. And then the darker ones are where the pay is higher, 124,000 in California. It's 93,320 in New York. Okay, so when you hover over those, it'll tell you the, the mean salary. So you want to find the lowest and the highest mean salary to help you fill out the five number summary because the 25th percentile, the 50th, the 75th percentile, those are the three middle numbers of the five number summary. The the minimum and maximum are the uh, – actually, this won't help because this doesn't tell us the min and max. I don't think you can actually find the min or max with this, this information. So you can't complete the whole five number summary, but – uh, we're supposed to identify the highest paying and lowest paying states. So that's just a matter of hovering around, finding out which state pays the most, which state pays the least, and then calculate the range of pay for your state. So since I, I'm in Maine, uh, the only information I have access to is the 10th and the 90th percentiles. So I would subtract those two, and that's not actually the range, but that's a kind of an estimate. The range of salary is approximately, for the state of Maine, it's like $40,000. Because the range is the difference between the max and the min. Subtract the max and the min. 
Um, okay, and I think that's it. The rest of the steps are asking you just to complete your discussion. You know, answer these questions. Some of them are opinion based. Some of them you should support with numbers that you find in this little bit of research that we've been doing off to the side. But I think that's it. Let me know if you have questions over what to do. Um, I'll be happy to help.